Welcome to the Large Millimeter Telescope in Mexico. This week we're hooking up with seven other telescopes around the globe to collect measurements that will hopefully make the first image of a black hole's event horizon. With me is this awesome group of scientists and engineers, and currently we're preparing the telescope for the observations. But starting Tuesday night, the Event Horizon Telescope will actually be recording the data from the black hole at 32 gigabytes per second. So we come from all around the, the world. Um, Michael here came all the way from the Netherlands, and each of us is tasked with helping in a different part of the telescope. So Gopal, um, Alex, Sandra and Edgar are working on the receiver, and I'm helping Lindy and Michael with uh, digitizing the signal of the black hole's light and recording it on the hard drives. Um, so Gopal, do you want to say a little bit yes. about the LMT? Okay, yeah, the LMT is a 50 meter diameter millimeter wavelength telescope. It is the world's largest single dish telescope of its kind, and uh, it's uh, situated at an altitude of 15,000 feet. You may ask, why 15,000 feet? Um, the higher you are, in the Earth's atmosphere, you see less water vapor above you, and so you'll be able to see through the Earth's atmosphere better. So we're at a uh, pretty high altitude, and so we're all gasping for breath, although we don't look that way. <laughs> uh, but that's the reason the LMT is at this altitude, and it's, uh, it's always a challenge being here. Uh, the LMT is actually a very critical component of the EHD array because of its geographical location being in the center of the whole array and also because of its aperture size. It's one of the largest aperture sizes in the array, so the LMT is a crucial element for the EHD experiment. All right, well thanks go Paul. So we're gonna get back to work now, but wish us luck. Okay, see ya, bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>